How's it going, pals? This is Ernaz, and we have more IGN news uh, for WWE 2K18. And they went and played the game, and they gave the first impressions and kind of, you know, their kickoff of uh, news that came in. So let's just get started. So first, they talked about the Elimination Chamber and how the AI kicked in and cleared a room so you could do moves in the ring now. That scares me a hell of a lot. Let me explain. That scares me because when you're playing Battle Royals in the game now, they whip you into the outside of the ring just to make room for action in the ring, and it's so freaking annoying. The Elimination Chamber might not be as bad because, you know, you kind of want to play out there sometimes, but having the AI keep throwing you out is fucking annoying sometimes. So I'm hoping it's not that. I'm hoping that, um, you know, it, it's just every now and then. They did say, though, that they had action in the ring and out of the ring. I don't know if they meant AI or just, you know, two people was in the ring and everybody else was on the outside of the ring, but it is quite annoying when they keep whipping you to the outside of the ring like uh, Battle Royals for this, you know, 2K17. So hopefully it ain't that. So next up, they talk about a new quick pin feature. They said it's the idea that one player can land a school a schoolboy roll up or leverage pin ending about quickly. Uh, there is about 12 new match interference scenarios from run-ins to walk-ins to just music blaring. And when this happens, it will open a target for a quick pin option. And they said that that's like, uh, you know, where you can pin and then, you know, maybe they'll kick out. Maybe they won't. I'm not sure. Hopefully it doesn't mean it's just right away and they won, you know, uh, but I just snapped my fingers. That's probably hard in your ears, my bad. But uh, they said after the bell, though, the loser will get really mad and beat down or have the option to beat down the winner if they want to. So there are options there. After that, they talk about the selling of moves again and say there's 80 new animations for selling moves. They said as the time goes on in the match, the moves will sell differently depending on the intensity of the move. Uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, hopefully it won't get like uh, overrated and like... They're staying right back up, uh, you know, selling a move from, you know, a big move right at the start. So say if I do a power bomb, you know, but they did say it's depending on the intensity of the move. So hopefully they get the moves right too to be powerful because some people's DDT might not be as powerful as others, you know, like Jake the Snake's. Well, that's a finisher, but you know what I mean? Like some DDTs are more important than other people's. So I don't know how they would work that out. So they said kicking out will be trickier, trickier. Wow, I can't even say that word. That's a word I didn't know I couldn't say. Uh, the kickout window is not uh, is now harder to predict. Uh, the speed of the rotation quickly depends on the strength of the executed move as well. So basically, that means uh, if you do a harder move, once again, uh, hopefully they don't mess us up because some people's DDTs are harder than others. But you know, a certain move, say it's a power bomb. If, uh, hopefully this just means finishers, that would be nice. But, uh, the speediness of the rotation will be faster, but also the kick out bar will be in different places and things like that. So he did talk about the outside a little bit and the backstage and said, you can now lift your opponents into four different positions, a power bomb, fire carry, etc. Uh, fireman's carry, sorry. And, uh, you can carry them into like the ring steps and do a move or an outside ring post or even like backstage things. Uh, they didn't mention Kevin Owens power bomb and Rollins, uh, power, uh, buckle bomb rather is now like in this system. So you have to like pick them up and carry them and do this. I don't know if their old move would be in where you could just press, you know, a button and do that. I'm not sure. It would be kind of sucky if it isn't. Maybe, you know, that's just options that you could do. Uh, also, the last thing in this article that it mentions is they uh, checked out the lighting system. We know all about that, but they did mention that in the gameplay they saw, it was Eric Young versus Robert Roode and IG, uh, or excuse me, uh, WWE um, 2K posted this on Twitter, the article. So Robert Roode is confirmed now. We knew about Eric Young, you know, from the roster reveal. So let me know how you think, uh, how do you think? And let me know how you feel about all this in the comments below. Let me know, are you scared about any of this? The, the kick out meter is what I'm scared of the most, but let me know how you feel about all this. And as always, you can hit the like button and be a pal and subscribe. No, no, no.